Okay, today is April 17th. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, my plan was to inspect hive number one on the left and do an inspection on hive number two on the right. Um, also to check their food. The wind has blown pretty strong today. Um, it's not right now, but it has been most of the day. Uh, it's only about 70 degrees out, so it's on the cool side, but the girls are active, so I'll do the best I can as far as doing the inspection. If we get too much wind, I'll, I'll have to break it off. Let me zoom in on the front ends, and you can see the difference in activity. Okay, this is hive number one. Um, and you can see there's not a whole lot of activity at the door. There is some at the top door. Let me move that up a little bit. Okay, so there's a top entrance and a bottom entrance on this particular hive. I don't have one on the other one. So there, there are two entrances and exits on that particular hive. Let me go ahead and switch to the other one now. Okay, this is hive number two. And as you can see, this one's real busy. These girls are staying uh, staying active. The other one's starting to pick up a little bit right now too. So we're gonna move around behind the hives and see what we can do. Again, I didn't bring a smoker or anything. I don't want to spend a lot of time in the hives because it's just too cold for them. Okay, we're at hive number one. Um, I'm going to take the lid off and check out the food situation, see if I need to bring more out. Probably do. But uh, here we go. Yes, we're definitely out of food. So that'll be a priority. It's all gone. Empty. And uh, I'm looking down inside the hive and not a lot of bees. I would expect more, but they may be out foraging. Take this under cover off. Look down inside for a little bit. See what's up. Just have a few bees on top, which is kind of expected. And I'm looking down inside the the hive, and they're really clustered on these one two three four these four center frames there's some on this one not many so let me pull this up real quick very few bees on here Let's see if the camera is picking that up Just a couple on this side. I'm going to set that over here. I'm going to set it that way. In the next frame. It's got a lot of bees on it. And I'm 
hoping I'll see a queen. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this girl right here's got a lot of pollen. I'm looking for eggs. Okay, there's a lot of nectar on this particular frame. So they are saving the uh, nectar that, or the sugar water. See the shininess in this area, plus they've capped off some of it. I don't see anything that looks like a queen yet. So far I haven't seen any eggs either. And I'm looking down inside the cells on this one. Eggs are going to look like little white spots. Might be some larvae down inside that area right there. I think it's picking it up. Again, I don't see any eggs though. It's not a good sign. We should have a queen laying. I don't want to keep these girls out too long because it is kind of chilly out. You see pollen? I don't see any brood though. Not a good sign. This next frame has got a pretty good cluster on it. But there's not a lot of wax. They're building wax. Ah, there's a queen cell. So they're making a queen. So apparently something did happen to this queen. And there's a cell there that they're actually making. So hopefully we'll get a queen out of this deal. So that's going to be a frame we're going to need to look at in about a week or so. That's disturbing. That tells me the queen is not is not present. She may have been hurt or damaged during the capture. Hopefully she got in here and laid that egg and we have a new queen about to emerge. They're packing in the honey. No eggs. No larva. Got a couple of capped off cells, but those may be old. I can't tell. The nectar here in the corners, probably stuff they just did. 
And that next frame over just has a little bit of hunt, a uh, little bit of honey on it, a little bit of wax, and that's it. And this third frame is from the end. A couple of bees on it, and that's it. Looking for any larvae that might be there. I don't see any. No eggs. So we do have a potentially bad hive here. I may have to get a queen and consider submitting a queen into this hive. Not good. But if that queen cell does emerge, then we might get lucky. Again, I'll have to check it in a few days and see what it looks like. The weather's been real cold and kind of damp lately. Having to go real slow because there's a lot of bees on the on the frame. I don't want to pinch. I'm gonna move this over. This got drawn comb on it. So does this one. And actually, I'll just move this one back and this one in because this one's a little nicer. Down it went. Okay, so we're going to bring some more sugar water out to this hive. Feed them. Okay, and that queen cell I think was on this frame right here. On the fourth frame, so... And they've calmed down since I put the lid back on. So let me put the entrance up on the top again. Slide this around. Put the girls back to bed for a minute. I'm going to put this empty jar on here just to keep everybody inside. And then I'll come out and replace that later with a full complement of food. It'd be easy just to pop the top off and drop a new jar on there. They know it's empty so they won't. They won't question it. There we go. Okay, hive number one inspection is done. It was quick and it was not as nice as I thought, but let's move on to number two. Okay, we're at hive number two. I'm going to go get my equipment. I'm going to take the lid off. My equipment's right here anyway. This food is gone also. So they've been, they've been hungry. So we need to keep feeding them. There's not a lot of um, nectar out right now, so we're kind of in a dearth, which refers to a spell when there's not a lot of flowers or stuff blooming where they would get the nectar. This side does look a lot stronger. It is. So we're in much better shape on this one. I'll just lean that up right here. Well, better lean it up here. Okay. I'm going to tilt the camera forward. See if it'll look down inside the hive. 
can kind of look down through the back and you can see the the girls are in there pretty deep pretty thick I've got them here 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 so that's one two three four five about five solid frames that's very good Let's see if I put it back in the right spot that looks pretty good all right I'm going to move this frame over, this frame over, we'll raise this one out, it doesn't have a lot on it, basically an empty frame, just plastic foundation. Okay, this frame has got some wax on it. Uh, the girls are on it, probably cleaning it. There's a lot of pollen, some nectar and pollen up in this area. I'm not using my gripper, so I have to be careful. A lot of girls. I don't see a queen, but they're still down inside the hive cleaning and pushing down the pollen there's another one they they push it down with their head there's another one here <laughs> pretty funny they're pretty active okay so we're going to put this back in like so that's how we got it out i'll move it over here Okay, the next frame is just partial. I'm going to take a fast look at it. Just got some, a little bit of wax there, none there. Probably ought to be moving this one over here. I think I will. Simply because I'd rather see them working on one that's a little wax on it. Okay, and then you can see the gl glistening sugar water on this one. Sparkly. And some of it's probably nectar. I'm sure they're getting some. And it's gripper time. I don't typically open my hive up when it's real windy. Today it's, they say it's only 9, 10 miles an hour, but it sure looks like it's gusting to me. Okay, brand new wax they're building here. More new wax on this side. All this white stuff. So they're coming right along. Don't expect to see a queen there. Because she wants the cells to be deep and ready to accept a an egg and a larva. So this next one might be the the main. It's also got the most bees on it. I'll lay my tool down here. Okay. I'm looking for eggs. Ooh, almost lost it. Eggs or larva?
Okay, I see eggs down inside here. Good sign. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can re-drip this and flip it around. See if I can locate the queen. Because this hive is relatively new, I don't expect to see a lot of eggs and larvae just yet. They haven't been here more than, they haven't been here a full week yet. We'll set that down nice and easy. Everybody get out of the way. Move this on over. Next frame over looks pretty busy too. I'm going to pick it up with my gripper. Again, I haven't used any smoke. I didn't even bring any. I try to avoid smoke when I can. Looking for eggs. Don't see any eggs in there. I see lots of nectar right here. So they're packing it in. Okay, and on this side we don't have a lot either. They're still working it. So we're didn't see a queen. A little disappointed, but I'm not totally disappointed. Okay, so look what I'll do. I moved all this this way and put this over here only because it gets this more centrally located. And with the cluster in the middle of the hive, what that does is keeps the heat inside. So they they're trying to keep warm using their body heat. Did be. The wax on there. Put this guy back in here. Okay, so we don't have a visual on a queen in this one either. I didn't see, I think I saw eggs. At least I hope those are eggs. So I'm going to, and this hive looks pretty strong. So what I'll do is I'll put everything back the way it was. And we'll put, uh, put more sugar water on here as well. So you can slide this around without squashing people. And we'll put this back on to keep everybody inside. We'll put this back on. So then all I gotta do is come out here, pull the top off, drop a new container in there, and then we'll have We'll have the ability to put more food on without having to get go through the hive and all that sort of thing. Okay, so that is going to do it for right now.
Okay, so hive number one, um, and in summary, is bothering me because there is a there's a queen cell in there. Uh, I may go ahead and order a queen just to be on the safe side. I might even order two because um, I don't know what hive number two is going to do yet. Um, but hive two's only been here just a few days maybe four or five days so I've ex I would have expected eggs in there but it might take a week for the queen to get uh, get back to the laying mode so I'll give her okay, back on hive number two um, they're looking pretty strong um, a lot more bees in that hive than there is in hive number one which you would you would expect um, there is daily attrition in the hive uh, girls only live six weeks so some of them could have been two three weeks old or older and they may be dying just because of old age and they work so hard so hopefully this is uh, this is going to develop into some good uh, good hives but we'll see um, thanks for watching please like and subscribe